Jake, yeah, he's been on a real roller coaster, hasn't he? I, I think even since the pilot, really, he. Um, I think from the very first moment, you know, is just infatuated with this girl, and he had a girlfriend at the time, but he figured out how to get out of that. I think Jake is. He's truly in love with Jenna, like for real, and he. Everything he does is like very well intentioned. I mean, the list of things. A little bit of a faux pas, but we're past that. And he's just such a genuine guy, you know. And 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 Jenna and Maddie are kind of behind his back and all this stuff. And I think for me, I'm just glad that it's out in the open now. As an actor, I don't have to play Captain Oblivious, as I was calling him. And it's just, you know, it's all good. It's, it's we're moving forward, and we'll see what happens. You know, I mean, Jake and Jenna, they're going through some bumps in the road, but um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's dire straits for them. We'll see what happens. I think Maddie and Jake can move past it. Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily the first time they've had um, a fight. Maybe not a fist fight, but they've disagreed on things in the past. And, um, they're bros. They'll be fine. Guys are, you know, guys can kind of brush it off. And uh, they've been friends forever, so they'll be fine. Wow. Um, I think the next episode is really fun. The next episode is all about Jenna. She has, like, this writer's block. And so she starts imagining what her life would be like if it had gone different ways. And it's really fun. It's kind of like a, like a, it's a wonderful life type of, uh, homage. And it's really fun. It was really fun for us to play these, like, different versions of our characters. It was really cool. So that's going to be fun for them. And then in the finale, just, uh, she's going to make a decision. So. Everybody's going to be happy with it. Well, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I, I think it's a bit of a cliffhanger, but not as much as season one. I don't know, you know, I mean, they, they keep the show such a secret from us, and, um, you know, Lauren Unerich, our creator and our our genius of a writer, um, she's the number one fan of the show, beyond anyone, and whatever she wants us to do, I'm down with, because to this point, it's been amazing, and so whatever she comes up with, I'm in wholeheartedly, let's do it. Car chases, explosions, um, I don't know, Jake becomes a tightrope walker, I'm in. So you're looking forward to that. You want a red cherry Corvette? What's that? You want a red cherry Corvette at this point? Like, I think, I think, I, you know, that car, I think I read an early version of the script where Jake drove like a, a really, like a Geo Metro or something very like small and old school. And I remember saying to Lauren, like, really? He can't drive like a cool vintage car the next day? Right there. Mustang. And I, I have been uh, kissing her feet ever since.